Let's talk about Ball Without Bias. What is Ball Without Bias and how does it work? I'm glad you asked that question, Swan. I know. So one of the things I always saw coming up as a player and a coach was actually there were a lot of players that were quote-unquote getting hated on by coaches that had their favourites. And it was like, you know what, I think I can really go against this guy or I think I can go against this girl. But they're not getting a chance because the coach has got their favourite and they're trying to go with this person for the wrong reasons. And so we came up with this system of Ball Without Bias to let your stats and your play do the talking rather than who you are or where you've come from. It doesn't matter where you've come from, it's about where you are at and where you're going. And, and the stats for us, the stat scoring system, which qualifies you and progresses you through in Midnight Madness, is really that kind of ode to that past of people kind of being hated on and marginalized and not being given a chance. And so ball without bias, as the name says, you get to ball without any bias. And the way it works is, you know, we measure all of your statistics when you come and play. You know, not just the guys be coming out thinking, look, I'm just going to shoot, shoot, shoot. Didn't you see I made five buckets? How <laughs> comes I'm not going through? Mm -hmm. And I always say to him, yeah, but you missed seven, man. You missed like <laughs> nine. You know, so you, you know, you get a point for every positive statistic you do, but you also get a negative, a minus for every negative you do. So if you come out there and you're not shooting plus 50%, you're going to be on a negative. Mm -hmm. So it makes you think about taking smart shots rather than just coming out gunslinging. All right. We do give an extra point for three pointers and we do have an extra point for dunks because we like high percentage basketball and we like to see highlights of course but then things like assists blocks rebounds steals you know all of the positive statistics you get in basketball and also we reward hustle plays too this year um they'll give you positive statistics and also the the negative things would obviously be turnovers fouls team losses missed shots turnover <laughs> shout out to oj um, <laughs> but um at the end of a game you'll have your own individual score uh, and and people say doesn't that mean that everybody just comes out and plays one-on-one -on -one basketball no because the biggest statistic you get the most weighted statistic you get is for a team win so each time your team wins if you're on a winning team you're going to do well at midnight madness if you keep on winning you're going to do well at midnight madness however fresh for 2015 We've noticed, and we're not naming any names, this isn't about exposure, okay? No, 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 no bombs being dropped right now. <laughs> However, we've noticed there are some guys out there who have tried to work the system of Midnight Madness, and we're on to you. What do I mean by that? These are players that get on a good team. I, I come up to the run, oh. and I see AJ, oh, they pick I me. see Ali, <laughs> I see my mans in them, and I'm like, right, hey, fellas, I, I roll. I ain't going to shoot many shots, I roll. Before I know it, I've got like nine, ten games under my belt. They've qualified by self high by riding their coattails. So this year, to progress all the way through to the finals and actually to win in that man, is everybody's going to have to have an individual basic requirement, whether it be um, number of rebounds caught, number of shots taken, number of assists made. There needs to be a minimum requirement. You can't just be chilling on a winning team and have a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 plus team wins. You've got to contribute. You've got to contribute to the team win. So this year, that's new. There needs to be a minimum requirement of um, um, contribution mm -hmm. to the team's win. So if you're coming out there and not shooting the ball and you're a shooter, you're probably not going to progress. If you're coming out there and not grabbing any rebounds and you're a rebounder, you're not going to progress. You know, you need to do what you do and it needs to be reflected in your statistics individually and then you'll be fine. But ball without bias is the, is the best and fairest way to analyze who's who. Doesn't mean I might not. Look, if it was subjective, I'm real close to these guys now, all right? And also the other guys that have been on the team, if it's up to me, I'm like, yep, I want Ali in there every time or AJ in there every time, whoever it may be be it's not up to me it's up to the stats you mean and they know that so they got to come and play and ball out you come and ball out get your stats up and then you go through so ball True. out bias is the safest way to do it for all things basketball and entertainment and to keep up to date with all the madness there's only one thing to do subscribe to our youtube channel